So it's finally happening, you guys, and I'm going to be the one to expose Mike Winters. The reason why I'm exposing him is because, you know, I've been allowing him to do what he does best. And that is just fabricate every narrative in regards to me for like the past two to three years, right? Since he's been blogging, I guess, since he's retired from being a videographer slash interviewer. And he decided to play behind the scenes of YouTube and basi- basically antagonize every rapper that he's worked with or every rapper that he's wanted to work with and couldn't work with. And, you know, since um, some of the rappers that he was previously wor- working with has passed on or is currently incarcerated or actually has no credibility in regards to the entertainment business, he has decided to take a different avenue in regards to the sector of the diagram in the entertainment business that he wants to capture so you know like i said um i've allowed him to do what he does best and that's fabricate every narrative in regards to me um recently he did a live stream about mac j and he wanted to tailgate off of everything that i said and um you know he wanted to use me to basically coincide with a lot of his concerns and theories and frustrations in regards to mac j right but see you know i always stand on my own like i don't need a cosign and he wasn't necessarily um giving me a cosign nor was i giving him a cosign because you know we obviously have two different platforms and my name is obviously solidified as well as his i'll give credit where credit is due but um you know he's just been playing behind the scenes and painting his own narrative and it's just been nagging and it's like i'm kind of fed up you did the live stream um in regards to the back and forth between Mac J and I, and you said my name wrong, like you don't know how to say my name, like you said my name correctly before, and then you blatantly said my name wrong in that live stream. And you know, and then I remember that you actually did do the interview with my brother, which is also SGA, which everybody knows by now that my blood brother is SGA, aka Darius Pino. And see, you know, um, nobody thought that um, I knew who SGA was or that I was just, I was just um, trying to manipulate the people in regards to who the identity of SGA was. And, you know, I ended up exposing that and, you know, doing what I do best and that's ending careers and, um, you know, coming after all those that basically tried and worked overtime to execute my demise in regards to this business and i came back and i owned it so elegantly and um you know i just felt like i needed to pay my due diligence in regards to mike winners so nobody knows what mike winners looks like unless you've had a video shot by him or unless you've actually you know had encounters with him physically and um i was able to obtain a picture of mike winners and um that's what you're gonna see throughout this video and um you know it's like with mike winners you have to know how to tread with this type of individual and you can obviously tell that he is dealing with an identity crisis and he doesn't know what exactly it is that he wants to capture as far as the entertainment business. Like, everybody knows that I'm not fond of Adam22, but I'm not going to base my whole platform off of Adam22, a guy that I've never met a day in my life, right? Now, I know many may say, well, oh, Jalice, you do it with Mozzie, and you do it with EBK, and you do it with this, and blah, blah, blah. But the thing is, I actually know these individuals besides like maybe EBK Jabo. Now, everybody else, DC and um, Mozzie and Chris and Mac J, like I, I can do that. Like even with EBK Jabo, I can do that. But now Mike Winners, he just like 
I guess he can do that too. But like when he antagonizes me, it becomes personal. And like, I felt like he felt like he was off the hook and he's not. And he just reminds me of like, have you guys ever seen the show Catfish? And like, you know, it's this, it's this person hiding their identity behind this persona. But in reality, this is this person. And I was able to unmask this person and to give you guys a better insight of Mike Winters and his vendetta and his ulterior motive in regards to his platform. And I think it's just ridiculous. And I think it's like nagging at this point. Like, it's like, what is your purpose? What is your ultimate goal here? Like, I mean, obviously you're making your streams of revenue off of your platform and you know i never had an issue with mike winners but when he tried to collaborate with um my little brother aka sga um you know he showed his colors then um even before then you know he does work diligently with all of you know my proclaimed suckers so you know it's like you know he kind of chose his side and that's why he has such his biased opinion he even painted this false narrative that i was like an addict and I was going super crazy and I'm this and I'm that. And then he like blatantly says my name wrong because he's just a troll and that's what he does best. And he just acts as if though like his persona is like the best unmasked persona on YouTube. But the thing is, I like the best at unmasking personas. That's what I do. So I decided to give you guys a little insight on mike winners you know and um you know this is the mystery guy and you know um he's not a mystery to those that he's already worked with but he's a mystery to a lot of the people and his subscribers and many that know of mike winners but don't know who mike winners is and you know i'm just gonna advise him to tread lightly from here on out and to choose to formulate his terminology in regards to me precisely or like this can go either way so you know i'm just here to do what i do best and that's pay my due diligence i'll talk to you guys later